He started being affection to me because he wasn't the cute boyfriend that I had in the beginning. He became a monster. My friends used to say, oh, he hit you because he loved you. He hit you because he loved you. And I really started believing that, you know, that it was love. That's why he was hitting me. He would tell me that I was stupid and dumb and that I wasn't growing and learning in school, that I was immature, not as mature as he was, that I had a lot to learn in life, that um, my I needed to get new clothes, that my makeup was always running, that um, I was a bitch, that I was, um, you know, slutty with his friends and too flirty. He wasn't um, physically beating or battering me at all, but he was just digging away at me emotionally, like relentlessly insulting me, embarrassing me. I was totally controlled by him. So it was more subtle than physical abuse, but it was just as damaging. A young man will choose to insult their partner very purposefully, and the idea is to get something from that person. And the insult will work on some level. Now it depends on case to case, but there is some way in which that insult is going to get me what I want. If I can wear you down by making you feel bad about yourself, then you'll listen to me. I had no self-esteem. I was here. I had nothing. I had nothing. It was like I hated myself. Everything revolved around him. I never seen myself when I looked in the mirror. I always say him when I looked in the mirror. When I do hit her, it's with compassion. It's not like a blow. Cause you know, sometimes I do hit her, but I don't I don't I don't go for her nose or her face or something. You know, I I get it to get her attention. I'm still rational about it. I don't go crazy to the point she's never been to the hospital. She's never woke I never broke her leg or bruised anything. Not to, not to my knowledge. Why am I doing all these things for him? Why am I washing his clothes? Why am I cooking him dinner? Why am I doing all this? What am I getting out of it? And she doesn't see that if she just went along with things, everything would be okay. Sometimes I say to myself, no, there's not, there's not ever a time where you should hit a woman or anyone. But it's just, what should I do? I, sometimes I think about that captain on a ship. If he doesn't discipline his men, what happens? You know, I mean, we lose the war because the men didn't listen to obey his orders. But I'm not saying that it's my job to discipline her. But should I just let her run over me? Men who are abusive start with a justification. And then once they can justify the act, then they will commit the act. Please visit our website, inthemix.org, for more information on this and many other programs about critical teen issues. You'll also find resources, transcripts, discussion guides, video clips, how to get copies of our programs, and lots more. And we'd love to hear from you. You can email us your ideas and advice so we can share it with everyone. That's mail at inthemix.org. You can also visit our tween website, It's My Life, at pbs.org slash it's my life. It includes games, advice from teens and experts, resources, and lots more.